Welcome back to Biafra News Support Biafra, people of goodwill at the Biafra here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, depending on where you're watching me from. Biafra friends, lovers of freedom, I bring you another news and update coming from Biafra Prime Minister's official Twitter handle. And here he said the Biafra government is still calling on Islamic State of Nigeria to withdraw all its uh, forces from Biafra territories. Before I continue, I would like to welcome all the new and old subscribers. If you're coming across my channel for the first time, please kindly click the red subscribe button, turn on the notification bell to enable you get notification once I upload a new video. Don't forget to share like leave your comment at the comment section so be a friends a few days ago zoo gutter media has published a headline with a headline saying biafra republic government in exile backs a federal government call for non kinetic uh, solution to southeast uh, crisis issues a uh, fresh uh, demand and biafra prime minister captioned this very headline saying we demand the withdrawal of all military and other Nigeria forces from Biafra territory. The Nigeria government must acknowledge must acknowledge that the Biafra government in exile is presenting 40 states from old South South and the Southeast uh, and Southeast and this state will be called United States of Biafra in line with the demand of the of a Northern Elders Forum to release Mazen Namdekano unconditionally, he said. So today, Biafra Prime Minister updated us again, sending another one into Zoo Islamic uh, Nigeria, saying the Biafra government is still calling on Islamic State of Nigeria to withdraw all its forces from Biafra territories. We demand the withdrawal of all Nigeria terrorists in uniform from the 40 United, United States of Biafra. You can't and will never have peace in Biafra land in our land coming from beer from prime minister to zoo islamic uh, nigeria as always uh, or always as a reminder to the full and terrorists armies and police one thing they will know is that you can never ever defeat armies of volunteers no matter how hard you try so beer from prime minister keep up the good work the people's prime minister. Beer friends are very happy. So, beer friends, I will remind some people what has been going on in Biafra land because uh, some people always claim not to know or they'll be asking what are they fighting for. Do you know that some people don't even know the kind of war? Some beer friends abroad, some of them that don't speak uh, Biafra language don't really know what is going on in Biafra land. If you're telling them about Biafra, they'll be asking you what is going on. Is there anyone going on? I'll be like, which part of the world are you people from? Is it that you, all you people think about is the, the life abroad and don't remember home at all? Don't you have loved ones there? I'll be like, oh, whenever the country is good, we'll go back. Some people don't really know what is going on. I'll be looking at, look at the people that are, our people are fighting to free. They are in abroad where they can see or have everything they don't have in their land. Because those that claim to be leaders failed to do the needful. And the Britain wanted that way so that Nigeria and the whole of Africa will continue being in darkness. We have absolutely nothing to boast about. And we have all it takes to have those things and more. No good schools, no good hospitals, no road. Absolutely nothing. Talk more of electricity. The people are being impoverished. They are being humiliated. They are being killed whenever they try to voice out. They are being marginalized. They are being killed in their own land. They can't sleep with their two eyes closed. And sometimes I will take out my time and they let these people know. I will start bringing out videos, pictures of all the atrocities, Nigeria army, and the zoo cabas, their master Britain are committing in Biafra land. Many of them don't know, especially our people from Delta State, because most of the people I've met are from Delta State. Whenever you talk about Biafra, some of them will say, oh, they're not part of Biafra. I say, how did you allow yourself to be brainwashed? I'll start asking, what is your name? Do you people answer your name in your, play from your, in your state? Or They'll be like, yes, yes, yes. That, 
then what made you think or make, what makes you think that you are not a Biafra? Uh, they are not part of Biafra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will start explaining and explaining. Some of them will say they don't know what is going on. I'll be asking what part of Facebook are you people on? What part of Twitter are you people on that you people don't see updates of Biafra and the atrocities going on in Biafra that we are fighting to prevent? So Biafrans, we must continue. The indigenous people of Biafra want a seat because Nigeria don't want to move forward and they don't know anything called moving forward or development. We called for freedom. They turned our call for freedom into war. We do not want the terrorist army in Biafra land. Biafra land belongs to us. They can do as they please in Nigeria. Our demand is very simple. Very simple. It's very, very simple. If we start counting the things they have done, we will not ask for it peacefully. We have asked for it peacefully. We have asked the way we are supposed to. And nobody paid attention. Now we are doing it the way they will understand. We do not want the terrorist army in Biafra land. And our demands must be met. It must. It's not by force to be in Nigeria. We don't want anything that has to do with Nigeria in Biafra land. And moreover, Nigeria is an Islamic state, an Islamic country. We have nothing to do with an Islamic uh, country. We want to exit and uh, we want the withdrawal of all their terrorists in uniform out of Biafra territory. And Nigeria must uh, know that all these states, all these 40 states and more, are Biafra. They are not allowed or welcomed in all these states. They must leave. The people want freedom. And these people's demand must be met. They are the ones wearing the shoe, you know, where it pains, where it pinches us. We can't allow ourselves to continue being impoverished in our land. When Chukwokika, Biyama God in heaven, blessed us with enough Biafra land, the Kwesere will land, the other people, Ghana, Bia, Chono, or Nabia, Muru, Hene, Media, Lang, they develop with their own country. That is what we want. We want that light. We want to bring to life that light the colonizers don't want to see in Africa because Biafra is light. Britain is using the Fulanese to continue keeping Nigeria in darkness and we do not want to be part of it. We're forced to be in Nigeria in 1914 and that amalgamation that forced us into nigeria has expired it's time for us to exit we aren't demanding because we are weak we are demanding because we value humans life even that of our enemy but if the only way if the only way to preserve our land is to take the life of our enemies then we gladly take it without a regret because the Fulanese are already, their army, we are demanding them to withdraw from Biafra land and in Biafra land to kill us, to subdue our people, to take over our land, to enslave our people, to finalize us. And that is, that is what we will never accept. That is what we will never accept. And they are aware of this. That is why they are panicking. They are panicking because uh, they have tried all their strategies, none worked, and can never work. They thought by buying few fools from Biafra land, it will be easy for them to take over Biafra land, without knowing that the people are the real owners of the land. Not few people that select themselves as uh, representatives. You only become a representative or you become a leader or an elder that the people listening to when you have respect for yourself. Not when you don't have any single respect for, uh, respect for yourself, you allowed yourself to be a willing to, to the oppressors. You will only become a leader or a, a, a representative when the people choose you. Not when you choose yourself or force yourself on the people. Those afflictions don't represent us. We have only one legitimate government. And that is Biafra Republic government in exile. And right now, Biafra Republic government in exile is demanding or calling on Nigeria government or Nigeria Islamic State of Nigeria to withdraw all its forces from Biafra territories. We demand the withdrawal of all Nigeria terrorists in uniform from the 40 United States of Biafra. 
They can't and will never have peace in our land. They have terrorized Biafra land enough and it can continue. A world is enough for the wise. Islamic State of Nigeria or Nigeria Islamic State should better take this pronouncement from His Excellency Maze Simon Ewa, Biafra Prime Minister of the United States of Biafra. Serious. We are not playing. And I'm very sure they have gotten the message. It's now very clear to them. All their strategies didn't work and will never, can never work. We own Biafra land. That is the only land Chukwoki Kabiyama gave to us. If we are the ones invading their land, killing their people, doing everything to take over their land, what would they do? They will resist us and that is what we are doing in Biafra land because we do not want that. We want peace in our land. And the Fulanis want to take over our land by all means so that they can relocate all their Fulani brothers from other African countries to Nigeria. They want to take over Nigeria. And it's very unfortunate that few greedy politicians have allowed the Fulanis to pilot the affairs of Nigeria to the extent they, they have already succeeded in taking many parts of Nigeria, if you must know that. And that is why we are resisting them in our land. They succeeded other places. They will never and can never succeed in Biafra land because we are ready. They killed us 1967 to 1970 because we asked for nothing but freedom. More than 6 million Biafrans were killed and Britain, Harold Wilson said, there is no amount of death of Biafrans that will make them change their mind. But this generation of Biafra is ready and Britain has already gotten the message that they can never interfere in anything that has to do with the Fulanese and Biafra this time around. Let's see how the Fulanese will win this very war they are clamoring for. Some of you lamenting that Biafran Prime Minister is a beating drum of war. He's protecting you. If not for him, they would have already succeeded in taking over Biafra land. Some of you will say we don't have respect for our elders. You respect elders that deserve to be respected. Not elders that can't see be, be, be beyond their nose. Not those elders. The elders, some of the elders, or should I say, majority of the elders we have in Biafra land are not what using that parable of Ndibo. You cannot see it. Not those elders. They are not the elders to use that parable on. What an elder sees sitting down, even if you climb Iroko 3, you cannot see it. This time, this generation of Biafra youth are the ones to use that parable on. What this generation of Biafra youth see sitting down, the elders from South is those greedy flavors that don't represent their people. They represent only their stomach and their pocket and their families. Even if they climb the tallest mountain on earth, they will not see it because they have sold themselves. They no longer see anything wrong in what the Fulanese are doing in their land. All they care about is how their people will stop agitating for freedom. They don't see the marginalization their people, they don't see the killings and the atrocities going on in their land. We demand the withdrawal of all zoo terrorists from Biafra territories. We are not begging them. We are not demanding because we are weak. We are demanding because we value human life. But if they, if they don't want it peaceful, we give it to them the way they want it, which we are giving to them because we are resisting them in our land. We are speaking the language to understand. And I'm sure that is why they are panicking. Malami said he, he supports a peace initiative in South East. They are bringing solutions up and down all of a sudden. What happened since? Well, we are no longer on that. We have crossed that stage. So we have crossed the line of the Rubicon and no turning back, no retreats, no surrender. So if zoo government, Islamic government, likes, let them listen. Zanoda coming from the PM Azesai Moneba of Bridgie. There will be no safe heaven for Fulani, Habi Islamic terrorist and army, and police uniform. The land of Biafra can't accommodate any jihad or its uh, component. Withdraw every Fulani terrorist in uniform before it's late. It's either they withdraw all their terrorist army in our land, or they will keep dying. God has made them stubborn like Pharaoh so that they will pay for their for all their crimes against beer friends. So that is it, beer friends. I will stop here. Don't forget to share, like, leave your comment at the comment section. May Elohim Chukukika Biama continue to guide and protect our PM Mazi Simon Ewa and all beer friend forces. He said, he said, guide and protect genuine beer friends all over the world, doing everything within their power to make sure beer friends are restored. 
The Zambia fry is restored. Victory is ours and there is nothing the enemies can do about it. Thank you all. Don't forget to share, like, leave your comments at the comment section. Biafra is here to stake. This government is our government and Biafra land belongs to us. Thank you all.